Guys, I have been locked out of my iPad and I have spent the last eight hours trying to get back in. Um, it's a total nightmare. It, it's There's something wrong with it, I think, because it wouldn't accept my password. And I this password is the password that I've used for two years. And it's a very important date. I wouldn't forget it. It's, so first of all, it locked me out for th- uh, 30 seconds or something. Then it locked me out for a minute. And now we're up to three hours. I mean, it's taken all night to do that. I've tried to download software and the software just crashes as soon as it tries to, you know, implement whatever it's implementing. You use a, or you connect it to your Mac. A total nightmare. So, no, and nothing's worked. And don't be fooled by to go, you know, when you Google my iPad locked me out, needless to say, millions of other, of other people have been locked out as well. Um, and you, it tells you all these ways of do, getting back in, resetting it. So I tried to reset it. And every time I downloaded the software and reset it, the software would crash just before it completed. So I don't know what's wrong, but my life is going to horribly change tomorrow without it. So musically, I mean, this is this is quite important for us. If you're doing my piano lessons and my cello lessons, we use we use it for all our backing tracks. So we won't be able to do any backing tracks until it's repaired. And it comes back unless I do it in another way, which is feasible just about, but a big palaver. Isn't it terrible when our tech lets us down? Um, so I'm, I'm quite, you know, I'll let you know what happens because it's so important, isn't it? And I quickly looked up there how much are tablets drawing. I mean, I want a drawing tablet because I do all my artwork on them. And my AI produces the art and then I have to repair it. Because the AI isn't a particularly good artist, you know, it just it makes collages from photographs from historic places around the world. You know, do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't, it can't draw hands, it can't draw eyes. It's not particularly good with lips. Um, I always have to do all of those again. It takes ages, but I need a, a an iPad to do it. So devastating news <laughs> but I actually thought well if I could you know I'm just going to have to do something different I can set up a studio it's just so mobile I think that's the thing these iPads and and these phones and these things that we use they're so easy to carry around so much easier than carrying around a recording studio for example um, but I suppose it'll free up a bit of time while it's off at Apple being repaired Um I mean, absolutely useless, all these things they tell you to download and do this and do that. Log into your your Mac, download the software, but you, and then you have to stick this wire in that wire and hold it for this long and that long. I mean, it's tragic. And it's only, you know, a year old, two years, maybe two now, a year, like a year and a half or something. So it's not even old. Anyway, I went in to look at you know, well, not repairs, buying a new one. My solution to everything, (laughs) technology, so just buy a new one. But, you know, we're in a recession, and why should we buy a new one? I haven't haven't finished paying off this one yet. (laughs) Goodness me. And I'm buying a car. I mean, it's crazy. I have to rein things in. Anyway, um, they're hideously expensive. So, I mean, mine was hideous. I think mine was £1,500. And they're still... I thought, no, they'd probably come down in value now. No, that's not true. Oh, darlings, I might have to go back to canvas and paintbrushes. Isn't that funny how, you know, you go, you, you can become really efficient with technology, but you, you can't be poor. There's no way I could do any of the work that I do with my technology, if I was poor, I'm, I do consider myself quite poor. I'm clearly not poor enough. Um, wow. So yes, I mean, no more backing tracks, no more garage band help or tools or anything like that. So it's it's going to be a little bit grim. Um, but I won't let that affect broadcasting. It'll will definitely affect the artwork. 
But there's some other things that I was looking at today. I'm thinking about uploading all of my art to Pond5. Because if you upload to Pond5 or Shutterstock and you upload as editorial, they will accept things like illustrations and artworks. And I own all the copyrights. So I'm going to try that. I, I thought, no, that's a really interesting kind of way of, um, you know, getting my catalogue up and making use of things that no longer exist because I sold all, I sold all of my artwork I sold on eBay for 99p each last year or earlier. Yeah, last year. And uh, other stuff I sold for, you know, lots of money or more money. But all the other bits and bobs that were just lying around, I sold them all. But I took photographs of it all. You take photographs when you upload to eBay. And they're high-res photos. So I'm considering that. I'm going to try that and I'll let you know how I get on. I'm thinking about side hustles today because I'm buying a car and I'm thinking I need a little bit of extra. Not not for anything um, wasteful, you know, like makeup. <laughs> I don't need any more makeup. I've got enough bloody makeup and I've got enough clothes. I've got enough shoes. Um, it's very rare that I see a garment that I want actually nowadays. I think it's probably my age, isn't it? Now I'm I'm turning into um, a, an elder <laughs> because I think it was a waste of money. I mean, we buy we buy clothes, don't we, to to draw mates, to attract a mate mostly. Don't you think? Like sexing it up a bit. And even if you or to impress people, you know, if you if you're you've got a job or, you know, if you're the prime minister or something, you know, you've got to dress for your job, haven't you? Well my job is sitting behind a cello <laughs> or sitting behind a piano. And I don't perform at um you know, grand concerts, so I don't need a ball gown. Um, all I, and I've come off all my social media, so what, I don't even need clothes anymore. I've bypassed clothing. The consequence of that is that, um, you know, I've got more money to spend on cars. <laughs> That's my next thing. So I've seen the car I want. I've applied for some finance to see if I get that. If I don't, mum and I are going to just buy it outright. But I think I think I might qualify for a bit of credit. Just take the edge off, darlings. Just take the edge off. Um, so it's a yellow and black sports car. And the other one's a red sports car. So it just depends how it all pans out. So I'm speaking to my broker tomorrow morning. Um, I'll let you know because I'm very, very excited. Now, my sports car is a smart roadster, which is a tiny, weeny, tw it's like a toy car. But it's the nearest thing, really, to a sort of collector's sports car that uh, is going to be achievable for me at this current state of my career, which is launching, you know, it's just launching. I'm two years into my business plan. So I wanted something that I could nurture a bit and that was very rare, or quite rare. And I found it. And uh, you've probably never heard of them. In America, I doubt you even. I I don't think you'd drive one if you're American because because it's the engine's only six six seven five cc or something, and they're tiny. They're really easy to park, um, but the sporty number is it. It looks from the front at a certain angle. <laughs> Honestly, guys, from a certain angle, it looks like a Porsche. <laughs> well. OK, slight exaggeration, maybe a Mazda MX-5. Um, but I absolutely love cars, so I'm going to be doing some car stuff, some uh, car chat. I thought it'd be really nice for my podcast to, you know, because my new my new thing is cars. Actually, I did um, an article once for somebody about a Porsche, and it was great fun, I must say. Well, I suppose that's about it, really. I guess um, my cat's purring really, really loudly. Um, so I'll let you know tomorrow 
if we if we can have any music, or if that's it now until the repair is done, it won't be. I'll um, I'll set the studio up. The studio. I will go to the studio instead of the studio coming to me, so we can get some more jazz, and more exciting music. Okay, guys. All of my files are on that iPad. All of the music that I've made, all of the stuff that I do on the podcasts, everything. I have to accept the fact that I may have lost my entire life from this iPad malfunction. Uh, Lesson learned, lesson, double up. I have doubled up, of course I have. Um, It's just annoying, it's just very annoying. I'll have to double up again when it comes back. Anyway, I'm going to stop moaning. Take care, guys.